Last night I snorted 15 mg 2 CT7. I was expecting it to be outrageously painful. It hurt quite a bit for about 5 minutes but it was not overwhelming. The pain subsided, and it started to come on. I could definitely feel it within a minute. It started with a strong body buzz that built up to a somewhat annoying level. About 10 minutes and I was sitting on a couch when the buzz got too much and I had an acute urge to vomit. I ran to the bathroom and spit up a little. It was then that I knew this trip was going to be insanely visual. I remember being bent over the toilet, looking into the water in the bowl and seeing the reflection off the water echoed about 100 times. Then I looked up and underscore everything underscore was moving. I have seen this bathroom in many states of mind before and nothing, not LSD, DPT, mushrooms, or 2CB compared to this. The tiles, curtain, pubic hairs on the floor had all exploded into motion, in a brightly lit room no less. Sort of a 2CB light show on acid, with the surface visuals reminiscent of mushrooms. And it kept getting stronger. I went back to the room I came from and sat down where I was before. The room was not like it was when I left it. Though only one half hour after I snorted it, my entire visual field was a catastrophe. I cannot describe the extent of these visuals other than to say it was almost ridiculous. If there was a theme to these visuals it would be persistence of image. I would sweep my eyes in front of a green LED and I would just see a hundred green dots floating in space. The next hour after that is kind of a blur. I only remember bits and pieces. I went to another room with a friend who had done the same thing as I. We both sat in a loft and stared in a sheet. Conversation between two human beings has never been so hindered. Neither of us could form coherent sentences, and even if we could we could never remember what we were trying to say. I remember calling another friend on his cell phone and demanding that he bring a sprite and whippets. Whippets were fun and I highly recommend them on 2CT7. I was bent on the notion that this experience of mine, these things I was seeing, didn't exist before Shulgin invented 2CT7. The world had not been seen through these eyes until some quack chemist invented this wacky molecule. I also found it quite humorous that floating around in my head was an awful lot of sulfur. How did sulfur get tied up in this whole sordid affair? It was just sitting there in a beaker not bothering anyone and then Shulgin goes and attaches it to a propane group. Mad. About four hours later things finally began to calm down. Now, when I say calm down that doesn't mean that they're not still totally obscene. I went to the bathroom again and everything was still moving, just not as much as before. Even so, five hours after I snorted the drugs, things were moving more than when I was peaking on six tabs of strong acid. It was not until 9 a.m., nine full hours after I began that things finally stopped. Anyway, 2CT7 has a lot to it and I definitely want to try it again. I thought that snorting 15 milligrams would be a little conservative but I was dead wrong. I think 10 might be more reasonable, but even then I'm sure it will be outrageous.